Hello YouTubers, now in this video I will cover the example of Wi-Fi Multi from file, examples, ESP8266 Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi Multi. So watching this video, you will come to know how to use this Wi-Fi Multi, uh, ESP8266 Wi-Fi Multi library, how to program ESP8266 by entering multiple access point name and their password and uh, let it connect to any one of the host available at that particular moment. So by the time uh, one of the hotspot fails, the ESP266 will dynamically connect to another hotspot and the work will continue to do. So you'll come to know how to program a module like this. Then you'll also come to know how to find the local IP address of this ESP266 module and also you'll come to know that how to find that ESP8266 is connected to which hotspot. So these are all things you will come to know after watching this full video. So let's get started. So first of all I will be explaining this example and will jump to the edited version of this code in which I have made some modification to make it even better and even easier to understand. So first of all there's two necessary declaration of the library esp 26 wi and esp 266 wi multi .h. Now this library is responsible for this multiple connection of this esp 266 uh, module. Then uh, object Wi-Fi multi is created. Now this is a variable you can uh, edit the name as a uh, Wi-Fi multi access point or uh, multi access point any of the name you can choose because this is just regarded as a variable of the class ESP8266 Wi-Fi multi. So after that uh, in the setup here it is the default ordered of ESP8266 then after that a uh, small delay which is uh, not at all required but it's okay uh, doesn't matter. So after that the three lines which uh, are uh, which looks similar because the function is similar uh, Wi-Fi multi dot add AP so Wi-Fi multi dot add access point so I said in name for SSID for first AP and the password for first AP then second and second and the third and third so here you need to add the multiple access point name and their corresponding password through to which you are uh, giving the permission to ESP8266 to get connected to them so on what basis ESP will uh, try to connect uh, to the access point. So when I uh, searched for this uh, CPP file of ESP266 via multi.cpp I found that uh, ESP266 is giving preference to the received signal strength. Uh, so whichever hotspot has the strongest signal to the ESP266 or make it even simpler whichever hotspot is nearer to ESP266 the ESP will give preference to that hotspot. So it doesn't matter. Uh, it, uh, it doesn't matter in which sequence you are entering the name and the password. ESP it is, ESP will in the end connect to that network whose received strength is the strongest. So this is the preference. Uh, so preference is given to the received signal. So after that entering, after entering the same name and password, it will show uh, connecting to Wi-Fi. And after that, it will run a function called Wi-Fi multi dot run. Now this function. Now what this function will do? This function will quickly scan the networks. It will compare the received signal of different networks and uh, whichever uh, received signal strength is the strongest, it will get connected to that host and it will change the status to WL underscore connected. So as, it, as soon as its status turns to WL connect, WL underscore connected, it will print out Wi-Fi connected and its IP address as Wi-Fi lo, wi local IP. So this is simple. And if it is not connected, it will be inside the loop printing Wi-Fi not connected, not connected, not connected until and unless it gets connected so this is a simple code so when you will be utilizing this code or how this code will be useful to you or in which situation you're gonna use this code so in a situation where you want your esp266 to run continuously regardless of failure of any of the hotspot so what you need to do you need to connect the you need to put multiple hotspot in a room and program the ESP8266 with uh, the name and password of all the hotspot. So if in case and if one of the hotspot fails, ESP8266 will dynamically connect to another hotspot and your work will continue to work. So in some in such cases you can use this code. This is definitely uh, uh, will be helpful to you. So let's move on to our editor version. So what I edited is that uh, first of all I have entered the two or you can say access point name and their password one is the Moto G which is uh, per, <coughs> which is uh, what you can say which I have put near to ESP8266 now this this is the ESP8266 board and this is the Moto G3 uh, and uh, another phone or another hotspot I have uh, or another access point name I have given is Galaxy Alpha and their password so Galaxy Alpha is put a uh, little bit far to ESP8266 so only two access point uh, I have entered so after that uh, I have removed that uh, w, what you can say the 
I removed this connection of uh, access point from the setup I have put it inside the loop because I want the dynamic connection to another uh, what you can say access point so I have put inside this loop rather than into setup so uh, directly moving on to the loop in the loop first of all it will check that it is connected or not if it is not connected it will be printing as not connected with a delay of one second and after that as soon as it's get connected to any one of that access point available or the any one of the access point whose signal is strongest so it will be printing wi-fi connected to and here it is it will be printing as wi-fi uh, wi ssid name by function wi-fi dot ssid now this is uh, i think important because in the example i was uh, unable to know that esp8266 is connected to which access point so this single line will make you clear that the esp8266 is presently connected to which hotspot so after that you will printing the ip address and uh, the rest of the code is the same or the code ends here there is no rest of the code <laughs> okay so uploading this code and let's test how does it works first of all i need to cross check all the hotspots are on yeah this is on and uh, no this is not on so i need to turn on the hotspot let's open the serial monitor okay okay it shows wi-fi not connected and uh, okay so first of all it get it got connected to moto g3 because the received signal strength compared to galaxy alpha is uh, of moto g3 is stronger uh, first it gave it gave preference to moto g3 so let's uh, try out a condition in this case wi-fi or the hotspot of uh, moto g3 fails so i will just turn off this hotspot and let's see what esp do the next so it shows wi-fi not connected and uh, yeah the magic happens it got connected dynamically to the galaxy alpha because uh, ESP has no other option because the first <coughs> hotspot failed and uh, it has only one option to get connected so uh, regardless of this received signal stand it got connected to Galaxy Alpha so this is the main what we can say benefit of this code that your ESP won't stop working by failing of one hotspot so this is it about today's video I hope you got some idea of how to use this example and how useful this example is so uh, subscribe my channel for this upcoming video tutorials of this series till then explore learn share with me techie sms